Cold Pan Suntan's back. Um, I'm out here looking at this road. Uh, this is a high traffic area. Um, lots of cars coming and going all the darn time. So uh, just here to check some things out. And uh, I figured I'd dress up in uniform. And uh, so maybe I wouldn't have people calling the police on me. This neighborhood over here is crazy. So, But this little overpass is all beat to shit. I mean, you can see whiskey dents all over it. Um, like I said earlier, this high traffic area. Um, just coming to look at this. But really, what I'm doing here is that's what I'm really here to inspect. I was doing some research on this little area and uh, thought I would come maybe get some samples in this culvert here. Um, I'm not very hopeful of it. There's not very much material in here, but uh, we will see. We'll see what I get from over here. There is some uh, pretty nice looking gravels all throughout here. I probably will only bust this ice up and gather material from maybe the four or first riffles or maybe until this joint right here. I guess the geology of the rocks coming off the mountain didn't look too bad. There's a lot of iron staining right there. This is just a prospect. We got a glacier growing out of that. But uh, let me go back up, get the tools that I need. One bucket should be enough, maybe just a vacuum. And uh, we will get to prospecting this little spot. It's a pretty interesting rock. Got some green rocks. Not too bad, actually. This is some kind of conglomerate. So, this spot doesn't look too terrible. But anyway, you guys see this hard hat? It's got a lot of real estate on it still. So, you guys want to see your sticker on my hard hat? Feel free to email me at goldpansuntan, all one word, at gmail.com. And uh, first person to send me a sticker, it'll go right over here. Second person here, let's fill this thing up. But uh, let me go get my tools and we'll get to work. So over here, the parking just really sucks in the neighborhood. Association can be a pain in the butt. So I'm gonna prop up my shovel, hard hat, and vest up here by the culvert. And hopefully that throws off my scent. Half the times I tell some of the shenanigans that I pull and suntan thinks, Man, you've got some serious problems. Like, you gotta be halfway batshit crazy to pull off some of the stuff you do. doesn't look like uh, too bad a material it's pretty it's pretty granular there are tons of little yellow flakes in it um, all over the place there's one there one over there but as usual you guys know the drill um, I'm sure that's highway paint I'm just gonna do one two three four five six seven I'm going to do seven riffles. I got all the ice out of the way. I'll scoop all this up, throw it in a bucket, and we'll take it home and process it. But uh, let me get to breaking this all up because I think it's all frozen.
bucket's about three quarters of the way full. So let me get my vacuum up. I'll get all this sucked out and uh, I'll see you guys back at the house. So I'm back home guys, I, uh, uh, it was all pretty much all frozen solid, the stuff that I chipped out and threw in the bucket, then I took it and I um, classified it down to 12 mesh, and um, that really didn't leave a whole lot of material left after I did that. So it's kind of one of those things where it's not really worth running in the sluice, it's really not really worth running in the dry washer. I think I'll just break out my super sluice and pan it like that. It looks to be like only three pans to pan, so it shouldn't really take me all that long to wipe it out. Probably won't show you me panning all three pans. I'll probably just jump to the last pan and show you guys that one, so. So super sluice was too big uh, to use in this little bin. And I'll tell you what guys, I have been finding the most craziest little pieces of gold uh, I am really starting to question what in the heck they just might be. Yeah, some really peculiar pieces in here that are just crazy looking. But guys, I have a sneaking suspicion that uh, I'm not sure what the hell's going on. But after this, we will go and we'll throw this stuff on the microscope and get a closer look at it. But guys enjoy the tunes i'll go through here and fast forward this stuff and uh, i'll be back here in a little bit here's a little tiny piece right there let's start washing this back Look at all that shiny in there. Good little stash. Let me um, get the other stuff that I found. Uh, that is a good little amount, man. I'll tell you what, I will be back to this culvert for sure. Uh, but let me get the other stuff I found. Let me get it put in a cleanup pan, get it all dried out, and then we will get it looked at in a microscope. But So look at all of that shiny. Whoo, look at that shiny right there. Boy, that looks like some number one. Oh, we got any number two? Okay, so it looks like we got some number two there. Uh, but that piece right here is kind of strange. Don't know if that's number three number two don't know if that's copper ore that fell out of a mountain i have no idea the light on this one is kind of screwing it up but i think there's some gold over here on the right side of that little rock that's an interesting piece that's a nice looking little piece of gold right there almost looks exactly like something that would have fallen off of that there's a nice little chunk of gold right there so looks like suntan doesn't need to get the skunk out of the freezer and cook that up tonight strange looking copper like this piece here yeah so <laughs> uh, this is the strangest pan ever i can't hardly tell there's some gold in here with staining all over it i don't here's a piece right here there's a bright and shiny piece of gold with some staining on it i don't know how much other pieces in here that are so stained that i can't tell so mountain gold, gold and i 
Uh, we've been kind of going back and forth. I went and bought some muriatic acid today. I'm going to let this stuff sit in there. And then I'll be back with just the gold. Okay, so I'm back. I have been letting this stuff sit in muriatic acid here for the last couple days just to see if it would bring anything else out. There is some gold in here, still a whole lot of copper. Some of it got eaten away, some of it didn't, but uh, none of this stuff here is going to weigh out. It's all just super tiny, tiny, tiny little stuff. Pretty good looking gold, I have to say, but this is the biggest piece I've found. And, uh, but guys, for now, I'm going to go ahead and just sign out. Hope you guys have a good a good day, afternoon, or evening. And we will see you guys on the next one. Hope you guys have a good day, afternoon, or evening. Appreciate you guys watching, tuning in. Hit that subscribe button if you would. And uh, Gold Pen and Sun Tan is out.